comparing Nairobi to, to Kampala, some people say that Nairobi is the best. And I think Uganda is the most musical country compared to the, to the Kenya. I can marry from Uganda because even Uganda, it is a, our neighborhood country. We know it's a culture. Right now, while comparing Uganda and Kenya, you can say that Kenya is more developed, means that it has more opportunity for business. Mm -hmm. I found GDP of Kenya is like around like 78 million billion of dollars, mm -hmm. while Ugandans was around like 48 billion. If if, even the girl from Uganda are the same as Rwandan. So for me, Uganda is a, has a beautiful girl than Kenya. What's up my beautiful people, how are you doing? This is TA Travels once again and I'm back with another episode. So today I have traveled to the southern province of Rwanda and I'm having this idea of asking random Rwandans their choice between two countries, Uganda and Kenya. I will just be walking in the street asking random Rwandans their choice between Uganda and Kenya. So just like this video, drop a comment down there and if you are new here, remember to subscribe. Stay tuned. I'm even with you. Mucho, yes. you know a country called Uganda? Yes. You know a country called Kenya? Yeah. So what do you know about Uganda? Yeah, Uganda is a, it's a beautiful country, it's a beautiful people. Mm. It's a developing country and it has been, so far it has been developing so good. Okay. <laughs> but the most thing I know that it's a, it's a country with a beautiful people, most re beautiful ladies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you know about uh, Kenya? And Kenya, as well as Uganda, it's a beautiful country, and it 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 has a very beautiful city, which is Nairobi. I just know that the Nairobi is the is one of the beautiful cities in this continent of the Africa. Yeah, that's what I know about Kenya. So, what's the capital city of Uganda? It's Kampala. Uh, my name is uh, called Mugawo Garshom. You are called Mugawo? Yes. So Mugawo, you better look at the camera, okay. So you know those, these two countries, Kenya and Uganda? I know it. So what do you know about Kenya? I know that, I know that Kenya is a developed country okay. and it's still developing. It's developed in, like, in which means? In the infrastructures uh, and in the economic affairs. So what do you know about Uganda? Uh, I know that it is in East African countries. It is uh, led by the president called the uh, UM7. My name is Nizayma Nazari V. Are you a Rwandan? Yeah, of course I'm a Rwandan. So do you know a country called Uganda? Yeah, I know it. It is a country from East Africa. Uh, what about Kenya? Ah, also, it is a country of East Africa. So now, what do you, what do you know about Uganda? Huh? What do you know about you Uganda? Ask me what I know about Uganda. Yeah. Uh, Uganda, I know they are president. I know it is the one of a country which has a Victoria Lake. And also there is a, they has a main river which is a source of Nile. I can talk about that. Okay. Who is the president of Uganda? Uh, the president of Uganda is Yoweri Kagutam Seven. So what do you know about Kenya? Also, I know the mo the Kenya has a most beautiful city. Also, it is a, a country which has a very big a port which is found on the Indian Ocean. Do you know the name of that port? Yeah, I know it. What is it? No, it is, that, that port is called Mombasa. Mombasa port? Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, my name is Eme Igabe. Igabe? Yeah. Do you know a, a country called Uganda? I know it. They are, they are our neighbors. Okay. And then a country called Kenya? I also know them. If you are asked to relocate from Rwanda to one of those countries? Uh, I think uh, I would like to, to go to Kenya. To Kenya? <laughs> yeah. So why? Uh, just because according to what I see and what I, and, and I hear in my ears, uh, Kenya is more developed. Uh, comparing, for example, comparing their capital cities, uh, 
Nairobi and uh, now comparing Nairobi to, to Kampala, some people say that Nairobi is the best okay. and is, it's the cleanest one. What's your name? My name is Charles Mohani Maru. Uh, are you a Rwandan? Yeah, I'm a real Rwandan. Uh, do you know a country called Kenya? I know Kenya. I know. It's, it's common known with part of Mombasa. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so do you know a country called Uganda? Uganda, I get it. Uganda. What do you know about Uganda? Uh, Uganda, uh. neighbor of Rwanda, with their popular president called Yuel Kaguta Museveni. In terms of business opportunities, between Uganda and Kenya, which country do you think has got more business opportunities? Uh, for my own, I think Kenya is, is the, the favorable one. Just because, as I told you, it's a country which is very developed and has a, a beautiful city which is Nairobi. And the other thing is just Kenya has the, it has port, the Mombasa port. And the port, you, you know that the port mostly makes the trade very easier compared to those land-rocked countries as an example of our country. When it come to business opportunities, which country do you think has got more business opportunities between those two countries? Uh, for me, I can go in Uganda. For me, I can go in Uganda in terms of employment opportunities and business opportunities because Uganda it taxes less and, and it evenly taxes those who have a large companies and large businesses. Okay. Uh, it is good country to start their business because when you have a small business there mm -hmm. you cannot be taxed. That is its goodness. Uganda and Kenya, which country do you think has got uh, more business opportunities? which has a, a more b business opportunity. Yes. I think it is a Kenya because mostly the country which are, are which has a border with an ocean has more opportunity than that which has a, which are land rocked. What about opportunities from Uganda? Opportunity from Uganda. Hmm. Uganda has a fertile soil which can yield product. I think it has opportunity from agricultural product production. Uh, either you can do a business uh, by using that actual product, agricultural product. Even also, you know, Uganda has a big market on East Africa. I think I can exploit that opportunity from a sector of farming. When it comes to maybe business opportunities, uh, which country do you think uh, has got more business opportunities? Uganda. It's Uganda just because it is, um, it, it, it have some rural areas and it is still, uh, uh, can I call it analog? Uh, I don't know, but where they, they, are, they are still using some, th some things that can destroy our atmosphere and our environment. So I can, I can be a businessman in Uganda rather than, than in Kenya. Okay, there are still many opportunities to explore. There are still there. many opportunities right here. Okay. Yeah. So uh, between Uganda and Kenya, which country do you think has got more business opportunities? Right now, while comparing Uganda and Kenya, you can say that Kenya is more developed, means that it has more opportunity for businessmen. As you know, they have industries that prepare resources like those clinker and other gypsum that are used in Rwanda to produce cement in terms of business opportunities yes uh, between uh, kenya and uganda yeah which uh, country do you think win another another one mm -hmm. i think kenya is more is more uh, associable is more sociable with the economy in terms of tourism between uganda and kenya which one do you think has got more uh, tourist attracting sites uh, both countries have the, 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 the best tourist sites, but I think Uganda has the, 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 the most beautiful ones. Normally, if you take an example of those Kore Keto Keepers, Kore Keto Keepers are very tourist attractors for Uganda. 
those cows, those traditional, traditional cultures of those Kore people are the most tourist attractors in Uganda. I Talking think. about Wanyankole? Oh, yes, Wanyankole. Okay. Uh, their, culture, their culture is very interesting and most of the people come from the outside of Uganda to visit the, the Wanyankore and to watch out for their cultures. They are very interesting. What about Maasai, or Maasai from Kenya? Even Maasai people are very interesting. But Maasai as well as they are found even in Tanzania and in other countries. So okay. Kenya is not, is, is not monopoly for those Maasai people. I think it is Kenya. Since it is developed than Uganda, you understand that it is better in, even in a tourist development. It is better than Uganda. Of course, I can go in Kenya when I want to tour, okay. to have uh, an activities about tourism. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, in terms of tourism, uh, which country win another? That is a very tough question, but. Uh, uh, as I think, I will pray for Kenya. As you know, Why? For me, I, 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 I like a place which, which has a border with ocean. You know, at the port, people are all, most of people are also have a curiosity to go where they, they can see ocean, uh, a very huge big water, a beaches, and a very developed city like Nairobi. I think Kenya is the most one than Uganda. I talked about Victoria and even some the, the rich culture in Uganda. So what do you think Kenya ha, can be more attractive for tourists? Kenya has a developed the city than, than Uganda. I think people are more curious to go to visit Kenya than Uganda. When it comes to tourism, yeah. which country do you choose between those two countries? Uh, I don't know that much about Uganda. I don't know what... The, I don't, I don't even know if there is some touristic, touristic attractions there. So I don't know what I can choose, but still Kenya. In terms of tourism, really I can say that Kenya has more tourist facilities. Between Uganda and Kenya, yeah. uh, which country do you think is more attractive to tourists? To tourists? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure very well. Mm -hmm. But I think Kenya, Kenya, I think Kenya. Music industry. Mm. Which country do you think has got industry which is more developed? I can, I can think Uganda is, 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 is the most, is the most country which has the, 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 the developed music even in East Africa. Because there are, there, there are some artists who has been developed in the recent years, if you take an example like Dr. Jose Camillon, he's an artist who has developed so far for many years ago. And I think Uganda is the most musical country compared to the, to the Kenya. Okay, so tell me uh, three of your favorite artists from Uganda. My favorite artist in Uganda is the, the, the the female artist, the lady called Shiba Karunji. Yeah, he's the one, he's my favorite. Only Karunji? No. Mm -hmm. There are also Eddie Kenzo, there is also Julian Kanyomozi, there is also the kid who was called Fresh Kid, yes, he is a Fresh Kid. Fresh Kid? Yeah. Is he from, from Uganda or from Kenya? He's from Uganda, Fresh Kid. Uh, do you have some favorite artists from Kenya? Yeah. Like who? Like the, 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 the South Soul group and the, the guy called the T. Brown. It's about music artist. For me, actually, I can also say Kenya. You see their, their music industry. It is very developed. It is higher than Uganda. Yeah. Do you know some music artists from Kenya? From Kenya? I know this group, this group is called South Soul. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Andy, this man, Cody. Cody, who? I don't, uh, I don't remember, but what I know in music industry, Kenya is better than Uganda. Okay. Yes. Tell me some music artists from Uganda. What? Some music artists from Uganda. Music artist. Yeah. That is also I told you. They are from from the uh, Kenya. So tell me some others from Uganda. Ah, from Uganda. There is BTC. Yeah. There is like Benda. There is Eddie Kenzo, and uh, there is the recent one now, whom we call. Uh, which country do you think has got more has got more developed music industry? That question does not require much of a thinking because Uganda is at a high level than than Kenya. You know, even we see to some artists like Eddie King, they are not only at at the level of Uganda or West Africa; they are at international level. Which country do you think has got the more developed music industry than other? Right now. I cannot, I cannot really say which country which is strong in the music, but each country, based on how they provide their songs globally, I can say that Uganda is the one country which has more songs known compared to Kenya. So now let's talk about um, in, uh, the music industry. Yeah. So between Kenya and Uganda. Yeah. Which country do you think has uh, developed yeah. a more developed music industry? Uh, the, I think, let me, uh, it's not a matter of fanatism because mm -hmm. uh, my answer, my responses were going to depend like it's on Kenya. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm, not an, I'm, not, I'm not good in entertainment, but I think Kenya, mm -hmm. it's developed, but one which is too strong right now, it's like Ugandans. The reason why I say it's mm -hmm. we have no common artists in Kenya in now period. So can you compare the beauty of Ugandan ladies and Kenyan ladies? Uh, Ugandan ladies are very beautiful compared to Kenya. If you if, if you look at normally if you you look at the, those Wanyankore ladies, they are very beautiful. Even if you compare to the other countries of the Africa, the Wanyankore ladies are very beautiful. You can't compare to, the, to them for those ladies from Kenya. Yeah. So uh, it is also said that Ugandan ladies are very submissive to their husbands. I don't know. I don't know. I have, I have no idea. Okay. Didn't you see a video of uh, Ugandan ladies kneeling for their husbands? No, I didn't. Uh, which country do you think has got more beautiful ladies between Kenya and Uganda? I carry Uganda. Uganda? Yeah. So you like Uganda ladies more than Kenya ladies? Actually, they are beautiful than those of Kenya. What makes you think that Uganda ladies are more beautiful than Kenya ladies? You see girls from uh, Ankore areas, uh, they are beautiful. That's why I can't say that. They are beautiful than that of Kenya. Okay. Yeah. So when uh, it's come to getting married, one of one lady from one of those two countries, she would prefer Ugandan. Yeah, I, I can, I can, I can marry from Ugandan because even Uganda, it is a, our neighborhood country. We know it's a culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which country do you think has got more beautiful ladies? Ah, also that, that it is a tough question because for me I don't like to to throw that uh, about the beautiful of ladies, but I can guess. As you know, Uganda may be the most one. <laughs> Uganda oh, how? Is a beautiful girl than than that of Kenya. You see, as I say, I like Rwandan and the culture from Uganda, and also Uganda has. A, it is the same characteristic like that of Rwanda. Then if, even the girl from Uganda are the same as Rwanda. So for me, Uganda is a, has a beautiful girl than Kenya. What country do you think has got um, more beautiful ladies? Rwanda. <laughs> no, I, I'm just asking between... Yeah, I know you are asking me between Kenya and, and uh, Uganda, but uh, 
I don't know which one because, but I think Kenya, maybe. Kenya. Yeah. So if you are asked to, to marry one girl from one of those two countries, who would you choose? Mm, Kenyan, a Kenyan one. They have culture, they respect their manners. Um, and uh, I, I can say that I can encourage anyone to take someone from Kenya as her women. You're saying you would prefer Ugandan ladies? Yes, right now I can prefer Ugandan ladies because even I can just tell someone to take, to, 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 to mail anyone from Uganda. Uh, let's assume that you are given a chance to, mm. to relocate yes. to one of those countries yeah. from Rwanda. Yeah. Which one would you prefer? Uh, to someone who have stability, monetary stability, mm -hmm. I may prefer to, to relocate him in Nairobi. Now, I'm asking, considering your own uh, situation right now, your own maybe... For my sake. Yeah, your sake. Yeah. Which one would you prefer to locate to? I may locate in Nairobi because Nairobi, you find it's good in accommodation, mm -hmm. good infrastructures like loads, mm -hmm. uh, main halls, and suitable markets, uh, for example, like I may I may say, mm -hmm. Nairobi was like clip. Even if they say Kigali is most of all of them, mm -hmm. but I think Nairobi is too good in cleanliness more than Kampala. Okay. Yeah, I may relocate in Nairobi. If you are given op an opportunity right now, maybe uh, you are you are given an opportunity to visit one of those two countries. Mm. Which one would you prefer? Just as I told you. I like the, 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 the Wanyankore culture. So if you got the opportunity for visiting one of the two countries, I would, I would like to visit Uganda for just the sake of visiting that, 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 that in Kore, in Kore, in Kore site. So you would like to date a girl from Wanyankore? Yeah, I would like to date one of them, if possible. Okay, thank you. Uh, right now, if you are given a chance to visit one of those two countries, uh, which one would you prefer? For me, I can prefer Kenya. Right now, you are given opportunity to visit one of those countries. Which one would you prefer? Right now, once I have given opportunity to visit any country between Uganda and Kenya, I can specify Kenya because I have curiosity to know what's found there compared to information I have got, I have got about it. Okay. Thank you. So, just give a message, a short message to our viewers from Kenya and Uganda. Yeah, let us unite. That's that's it. Okay. Let us unite. Other things, other things will come in addition. But let us first unite together. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. Thank you.